Hey guys, welcome to another Makeup Talks. Today I'm doing another product review. This time I'm reviewing a product that is not very available. Um, it's the Eve Pearl Duo Salmon Concealer. It's one of those products that's kind of hard to find in your regular Sephora, Nordstrom, you know, it's pretty much nowhere to be found except for like, you know, makeup makeup stores for makeup artists and ordering it online. So I decided to try it out and I am going to do a demo for you guys. My color today is medium tan. So I already have all my face done except for the concealer so you can see, really see what it looks like. And you can buy these just by, you know, medium or tan. I like getting two colors because, you know, I am doing makeup on different people when I go to shoot, so it's good to have different colors, you know, to use. Also, if you have extremely under eye circles, like they're extremely dark, it's nice to have darker colors because the darker colors can color correct and then you can go back with, you know, a lighter color to kind of even out the eye. So let's go ahead and try to cover my eyes. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dip in my brush into the darker shade, so this is the tan, and see what that looks like first. So actually tan is pretty good. And I've used these concealers in so many people. They're great for people that have a lot of stuff going on under the eyes. You know, it does help to smooth out. It has this weird putty uh, feeling to it. And if you don't know Eve Pearl, she's pretty amazing. She does, she's the head makeup artist for um, The View. And she's actually won five Grammys, you know, from being in that show. Emmys. Emmys, I was just corrected. You know, when she came up with her line, it was pretty cool because she has her own method of doing things. You know, she's the one that kind of does the reverse contouring. And, you know, her first product was the concealer so it is a really nice product and as you can see it covers the under eye really well and when I smile you can see it doesn't like crease as much it's pretty natural looking and I've used this all day it, you know the coverage does stay you can put a little bit of powder you know if you're feeling like you need to set it and it will set just fine so I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye and I'm actually applying a generous amount you know don't go don't be scared of applying a large amount at first because it will actually blend out on its own pretty nicely. That looks pretty nice and I'm going to use a lighter color just under the eye. To see if I can brighten it a little bit and make my eyes look less puffy. You know, a little bit of puffiness is pretty good. Kind of makes you look healthy. That actually looks pretty good, so let's do the same thing on the other eye. All right, and there you go. You can see that it covered it pretty well. Um, she also encourages you to use this concealer on the face to cover, you know, blemishes and stuff. I have tried that, but it doesn't, it hasn't covered enough for me to the point where I would actually use this on the face all the time. If they have like minor problems, I can use it. Um, I think I covered everything pretty well, but there's, I like it for color correction. So if you have something that sticks out a little bit, after you use your concealer, you can use this on top, just to kind of further cover it. So I'm actually applying these areas where I got breakouts from wearing that Lancome stick foundation. And you can see it just gives you that final touch. And the, and the reason why is because it's more of a putty, so it just sits on top of the skin. But if you were to build this and build this and build this, it would look really cakey and really nasty really fast. All right, and there you go. Ta-da! I'm just gonna go ahead and set this with a little powder and I'll be right back with final thoughts. Okay, so I just applied the rest of my makeup and this is what it looks like with the rest of my makeup. As you can see, the eye area is pretty flat and flawless and I set it with a little bit of powder, you know, and you can see that it still looks pretty even. It doesn't look dry at all. Um, so, very good job, Eve Pearl. I love this concealer. One of the best, con favorite concealers for the under eye area ever. 
uh, very strange um, consistency and I guess that's what makes it good. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And if you have any questions or comments, put them down in the section down below. I'll see you next time with another video. Bye.